Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Hope everybody's having a good day. How's everybody doing? Hopefully good, right? Hi, Erin and, and Esther and Diana and Michelle and JD and Laura and Jeannie and Asia and River. Hello. Hello. I'm going to just open my paper. Going to slap a little gesso on here. Slap of the gessos. And get off the little snot that was on there. Another one. Hi, Sherry. And Teresa. And Laura. What's everybody doing today? Is it cold where you are? Because it's freaking cold where I am. It's like 20 something degrees out. It's ridiculous. My heat is definitely working on overtime today to keep up with the demand of keeping me warm, which I don't keep it up that high, so it shouldn't be that hard, but apparently it's so cold out that it is hard. Okay. Is it 15 degrees for you? Goodness gracious. I'm only about five or eight degrees behind you. Hi, Joy. And Rebecca, hello. I got some, uh, I got some new toppers for my uh, wind chimes and stuff. Wind chimes? Sun catchers? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. So that's exciting. It's 40 there. Yeah, that is cold for where you are.
So is there anybody that's new here today that's never played this with us or done this with us on Wednesdays? It's only nine degrees in Wisconsin. Well, you can keep your nine degrees. <laughs> I don't want that. It is currently 21 degrees. Nope, I'm sorry. That was yes, that was like earlier or like last night. It's 32 now. That was last night. It's going to get down to 27. I thought it was still in the 20s today. Well, it was earlier today. Like earlier, earlier. It was um, like 21 degrees. So it went up. Yeah, it was 21 degrees this morning. Like, I don't know, like around 4 or 5 o'clock this morning, it was 21 degrees. So it's 32 right now. And then tomorrow is Thursday. Ooh, it's supposed to be 54 tomorrow. I'll take it. <laughs> and then it's not really supposed to be super cold. But we are supposed to get rain. So like, this is what I mean. Like, we get a lot of rain. It's supposed to rain Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Let's go further. And, oh, and finally, a sunny day maybe on Tuesday, but that'll likely change because it always does. Hi, Christine. Hi, Susan. It's your first time, Sherry. Are you gonna play along with us, Sherry? This is basically, today we're playing it a little bit different than we normally do, but it's not gonna affect, you know, anybody that's playing new or anything. Um, normally I just pick cards from here, just one after another until we get to 10. Today we're gonna do um, a little bit different. Every now and again, I'll switch it up and I'll let other people pick the prompts, but instead of, they're not really going to pick the prompts per se. They're just going to pick which card that I pick from. So if I, um, if I'm going to use Nightbot, which is an automated thing and I'll, I'll put in and whoever it comes up, you get to choose once. And if, it, if your name comes up more than once, then I'll just skip it and go to the next one. But you get one turn and you get to pick what, a number between 1 through 20 and that's going to be the card that we use and I'll go through and flip through I've got I picked 20 cards um, and I'll go through and go one like right from the top one two three four five you know to whatever number so if you pick 10 I'm gonna pick the tenth card in the stack and then the next person even if they pick the number 10 it doesn't matter because it's gonna be a different card so you can pick whatever number you want as long as it's between 1 through 20 and then we're just going to do whatever it says on the card. It can be anything from collaging to adding some paint to using a stencil to, you know, gluing down, you know, paper and spraying with ink sprays. Just your, you know, you could just use your basic supplies. You must be way up north, Sherry. Or in Canada, maybe? <laughs> You're cold. Oh, Christine. Sorry, it was Christine that said that. My eyes played a trick on me because the thing moved. I thought it was Sherry that said that, but it was Christine said you're negative three. Where are you live again, Christine? Good Lord. Yucky. I don't like that. That's too cold. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Hi, Joy and Gail and Mary Jane and, and Renee. Hi, Renee. Minnesota. Oh, wow. Yeah. You was up in the cold areas. All right, Sherry. Yeah, it usually takes about two hours to get through uh sometimes a little longer sometimes two and a half hours or so hi nicole i mean aaron i was looking at your middle name 
And tomorrow, um, Thursday evening, about uh, 6 p.m. my time, I'm going to be doing a live stream with Robin and Kelly. And we're going to be working on, they're going to show me how to do the, um, the light switch cover ornaments that they did and the ones they donated to my auction for the benefit auction for the Disabled Artist Foundation. Well, they're going to be showing me how to make those tomorrow night. So that'll be that. So you should be here because it'll be fun. Hi, Angela. Oh, you got some covers? Cool. And then on the 20th of December, which is next Friday. Hi, Janet. Next Friday, I'm doing, we're, uh, I'm doing a special live stream collab with several uh, YouTubers. Um, I haven't, we haven't gone over the time yet. It's probably going to be around, um, uh, like seven o'clock ish my time, uh, because we have people that are, you know, all over the place. So I'm going to say like six or seven o'clock my time on Friday, the 20th. And what we're going to do is, um, we're going to have... There's going to be several channels involved, and if you have a channel and you do live streams, you can also be involved as well. Um, you just message me on YouTube. But we are going to do an ugly sweater competition. But the kicker is, all of us are going to be on our own channels doing it live at the same time. And everybody who's watching is to flip between all the channels involved. As of right now, there's three or four. Three? As of right now, I think we have three positively locked down, possibly four. Um, but anyway, and everybody's going to be on their own channel. And none of us that are doing it can go and look at the other people's channels. But the people watching are to go in between all the different live streams and give either encouragement or kind of make us feel psyched out and say things like, oh, you should really see so-and-so's. It looks so awesome. But you can't say what, what they're doing. And you can't say, you know, you can't tell us what they're doing, but you can kind of like psych us out to make us hurry up because we're going to have a time limit. So it'll be a lot of fun. And um, whoever wins out of all the people that are actually doing it with us live, Whoever wins, because everybody's going to take a picture of themselves in their sweater and show on camera that they can wear their sweater because it has to be wearable once you do it. So you can decorate it to the nines. Some people will decorate it. And if you can't get yourself into it because you glued your sleeve shut, then that's and you're disqualified. So you have to be able to put it on. And then once you, you know, take a picture of it and put it in our group, in the Pink Poodle Pack group, everybody can go vote on their favorite. And whoever wins gets a $50 gift certificate to their favorite craft store, whether that's Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby, whatever. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. And anybody is open to do it with us. It'll be a lot of fun. <clears throat> All you need to do is find an old sweater or sweatshirt, or you can go buy a cheap sweatshirt. Or like a sweater of some sort. You know, just like a fairly plain sweater to start off with. But, yeah, it'll be a good time. And if I win, because I'm going to also be competing, but I'm not going to buy myself a gift certificate. If I win, I'm making everybody that was involved send me something handmade. Whether it's a card, an ATC, a tag, whatever it is. They make me something handmade and that's, that's if I win, that's the, that's my prize. <laughs> you're, you're gonna crochet a sweater live and then sew the embellishments on it i don't know if you'll have enough time if you could crochet that fast you'll be in the guinness book of world records probably <laughs> but i think it'll be a lot of fun to see all everybody go from live stream to live stream to live stream watching everybody and and giving encouragement and going back and forth and either giving encouragement or making them feel like 
somebody else is doing better than us so that we move our butts and do better. <laughs> It'll be fun. All in good fun. It's not like anything. Nobody's going to be mean to each other. It's not like that. But it's just about, you know, good times. No, not like, no, not like trash talking. No, just being silly. Just being like, oh man, I was over at so-and-so's live stream and they were doing so good. And, you know, just stuff like that to make us feel like we, we're doing, you know, they could choose to encourage us like directly and just be nice and be like, oh, that's awesome. Yours is better than everybody's. And you could do that. Or you can, you know, flip it the other way just to give us, uh, just to give us some, you know, give us something to work towards. Yeah, I don't know where Janie is. Maybe she's busy. I'll message her and see if she's around. Maybe she didn't realize we were going on. I don't know. All right, who's playing along with us today? Like I said, we're playing a little different today. Um, I'm going to use Nightbot, and he's going to pick people in the chat. So if your name is picked, you have to give a, a number between 1 and 20. Um, and it doesn't matter if the number's already been picked, because each card is going to be discarded. And so that number can be picked again, and ultimately it's going to be different. Obviously, it'll go down. So, like, if it's 1 through 20 the first time, after I pick a card, it's going to be 1 through 19. Get it? So then after I pick that card, I'm going to move it aside, and then it's going to be 1 through 18, 1 through 17. So each turn, it's going to get a little lower. But that's the only difference. Um, I'll actually, you know, uh, maybe I'll put that in Nightbot real quick so that people know in case they're like, I don't get what's going on. If somebody comes in, they'll be able to maybe read that and see um, what we're doing. So I will do Also, if you are chosen, um, to pick a number, you will be written, your name will be written down and at the end of the night, you'll be put in a drawing so you could win something. Even if you're not playing mixed media mashup, you could still win a prize tonight. If you are playing with us, you will, if you're, you know, when you're done with your mixed media mashup, you will put your picture in our group. And I will go through and write everybody's name down, and you could win a prize tonight. And tonight's prize is if you um, if you uh, work on your mixed media mashup with us um, and put your picture up. and ultimately I put you in the drawing and you win, you'll win a ornament kit. 
a crystal ornament kit. So these are crystals and you'll be able to put together a crystal ornament for yourself. So that'll be for the winner. And for anybody that picks a number, you will win um, an ornament that I have set aside, um, which I'll show everybody in a little bit. But um, and aside from the kit, the person that wins from playing along today, you'll get other things as well. But that's the main thing. So make sure you're playing along. And if you're not playing along, pay attention because you might get asked to pick a number. And if you do get asked to pick a number, just remember, um, I'll say, you know, okay, pick a number between one and I'll give a number to pick from. We're going to start off with, it'll be one through 20 and then it'll, it'll drop a number every time. Hi, Janet. I think I said hi to you, but hello again. And Laura and Elspeth, are you gonna play, are you gonna be doing our thing on on the twentieth, Els? <laughs> JD's standing and ready. <laughs> what are you standing for? <laughs> Sit down, relax, take a, take a load off. <laughs> yeah, for the ugly sweater thing. You don't have to. I ain't forcing nobody. You do what you want to do. And you can, or you, that's up to you. I'm not telling anybody they have to. Well, then do it because Laura says, I don't, I don't care. Do it however you want to do it. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun though. I'm going to be working on the details of that. So uh, as far as times, time limits and all that, um, I'm in the process of taking care of that part of it. So I'll be putting everybody involved in a group chat and we'll go over kind of uh, any details or whatnot um, and any rules that we'll have for the game. Hi, Michelle. And Amy, hello. All right, is everybody ready? Because we are going to start. I'm going to let Nightbot pick the first person. And the first person that gets chosen is going to pick a number between 1 through 20. So that's all you have to do is pick a number between 1 and and 20. So, Elsbeth, you get to go first. Pick a number between 1 and 20. And I will write your name down and you will be put in the drawing. You pick number 4. Okay, so that means we got, uh, how am I going to do this? One. Two, three, that's how I'm gonna do it. One, two, three, four. So the first card is collage or decoupage ephemera. So you're gonna put some collaging stuff down. So the next person I pick, it'll be one through eight, one through uh, 19. All right, I need some paper to collage. I've got some book page with some stuff on it. I guess I'm still doing Christmas. That's what I have over here. Oh, I got some, got some Christmas tissue and whatnot. You don't have work tonight, Amy? Oh, that's good. So you can play along tonight. 
Nice. Oh, and I forgot one other thing. Anybody that chooses my favorite number um, gets an extra, gets a little prize. And I meant to write it down and set it aside, but it wasn't um, what Elsbit chose, though. It wasn't four. I'm going to write it down. And then this way, when it comes up, I'll show you the paper. Okay, move it over there. I'm glad I remembered that before it got too late. <laughs> And a mess we will make, and a mess we will make, and a mess we will make, and a mess we will make. <laughs> Tell you about them? Well, these pieces are from 1918. That's where they come from. They are from 1918. This lady, her name was Cicely Mary Jones, and she painted on these old book pages. And then she told me in a letter that she set that she wrote and said to, you know, sent it to me in the future and said that this is to go to Stacy Evans in the future. And I opened it and it was this paper and she said Use this in your mixed media mashup on December 11th, 2019, or else you will have bad luck for 20 years and your dogs will all die. Crazy, right? I'm just kidding. <laughs> what did you want to know about them, Janet? I'm, I'm being a smart ass. Because <laughs> the way you said it, <laughs> it made me sound, it made me feel like that there had to be a story behind them of some sort. <laughs> Good old Cecilia. Did you want to know, like, uh, the reason that you want to know why they're painted like this or how they're painted like that? Janet's probably like, are you mad now? Because I was kind of like, I took that and kind of ran with it. <laughs> I wasn't making fun of what you said at all. I was just being a smart ass. I think Janet left. <laughs> She's like, screw this. <laughs> screw this BS, I'm out.
Oh, okay. <laughs> no, these are, what I do sometimes, sometimes when I have leftover paint, when I'm doing mixed media mashup and I put paint on my table to like stamp into or whatever for my piece, if I have a ton of leftover paint, uh, paint, I don't like to waste it. So what I'll do is I'll grab a piece of book page, I'll grab a piece of anything, a tag, whatever I have around me, I'll usually grab and I'll stamp off the excess onto it and I end up with like, you know, a painty paper of some sort. Like I got this one, I've got that one. Um, and it just, you know, makes for good collage paper later because, you know, it already has a little bit of color on it. So if you don't have a piece of, you know, book page or paper around, grab a piece and keep near you because you can use it as a second piece and have very quickly end up with a really cool painty paper to collage with later you know if you want to it's a good way to use up paint that you know a lot of times i'll put paint back in the bottle too but if it's a tube or something i can't put the paint back or if i just have a little bit and i figure well i'm not going to try to put it back but it's enough to like throw onto a piece of paper i'll do that Hi, Patty. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll put a small piece of the tissue on too. And basically what we're gonna do is just layer, you know, all the prompts and that's back, no, it's only backwards going the other way. I thought it was backwards completely, I was like, do I have to flip it over? But it's backwards this way, but it's forwards that way. It's so that no matter which way you put the tissue, you can see it. It's good thinking for if you're packing a, you know, uh, like a, in a bag or whatever, a gift bag. You don't have to worry about how you sit the tissue so that it's legible. How are you doing, Miss Patty? Are you new here? One more piece down here. Hi, Linda. Whoa, whoa. Get back here. I knocked my papers in the trash. All right, I'm gonna hit this with the heat gun. And unless anybody is not finished collaging, we'll move on to the next. I don't mind waiting, so if, you know, don't be afraid to say, hey, it's gonna take me a few extra few minutes. That's fine, no problem. I'm a little faster usually than some people, so that's just because I've been doing it a while.
things are settling back down. I hope it wasn't anything too crazy. I'm glad things are settling down. We've missed you. You're not invisible. I said hi, Shazzy. I said hi. You're never invisible. So does anybody still need a minute or two? My hands are dry. They sound like sandpaper rubbing together. If I t put a piece of wood in, the, in, in my two hands and rub them together, I'd probably start a fire. Sure. I will wait a minute. No problem. Why do you keep saying standing and ready? Oh, for the next prompt. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> did she miss that we already did a prompt? She's standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Hi, Erica. What are you making? <laughs> oh, you're making a blanket. Oh, nice. Ooh, you're crocheting. Very cool. How long? What, it, I'm assuming you're crocheting. How long does it take to crochet like a blanket? Let's say like a twin size blanket. If you, you know, like how many hours would you say that t takes? If you just did a simple, you know, nothing fancy to it. Oh, you've been, you've been just busy, busy. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anything like bad. You know what I mean? Like crazy bad or anything. But yeah, being busy is, a, it can be a good thing and it can be a bad thing. I like to be busy, but at the same time, I don't, I don't, I, I, I get stressed out when I'm too busy. Fleece blanket tiny. Yeah, I've, I've done that before, Erica. Yeah, that, that, that's, that always works pretty well. Well, I'm just saying, like, I I'm not saying, I'm just talking average, like, just an average of how long it takes, not if you're a speed crocheter, not if you're real slow, just somebody in the middle, like, just an average of about how long it would take to do, like, a twin size blanket. Just a ballpark. Like, one to, you know one to three weeks or one to a month I don't know or you know like how many hours all together without it without the hours you're not doing it like in other words does it take 30 hours 20 hours 15 hours you know something like that your husband's in the hospital Janet is this Karen is this your dad <laughs> Oh, thanks, Pat. Thanks, Patty. I'm glad you're able to be here live with us. That's that's awesome. We I always like it when there's new victims. I mean, people. <laughs> are you ready, Miss Bima? I'm assuming you are, probably. All right, I'm going to. You can have a twin size afghan done in maybe really in five hours huh because you do it fast is that why i 
So like the average person doing a, just a standard stitch or whatever, it would probably take 15 hours or something. It takes you a week straight or like a week of you doing it on and off during the week. Like working on it a couple hours a day. Well, I only asked that because I didn't know whether your mom maybe was remarried. So I didn't want to say, oh, Karen, sorry about your dad when it's not your dad. You know what I mean? I don't know. But, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope he gets better soon. All right, I'm gonna pick the next person is going to pick a number between one and 19. One and 19. And that'll be Shell. Shell, will you pick a number between one and 19? No, not Terry, not Asia, not anybody but Shell. Only if you're called on. So you're picking seven, okay? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and this would be number seven. Add circles, add circles. That's what we're doing. Oh, you know what? I didn't update my thingy. My my uh, ticker is not updated with the add circles, and I'm about to add circles. Got to do that first. Add circles. Okay. I need a, a circle adder. Anybody got a handy circle adder? I've got this circle adder. This one, I've got a few different circle adders. And you can just use whatever you got from around the house to add circles with some paint. I'm gonna throw some down with this since I have this paint sitting here. This is that cranberry paint color stuff. The very weird sticky paint. grab a piece of paper I can add to it let me grab a book page from over here or something Or in this case, a music page will work. That can be my paint user upper thing. There we go. 
go. Good enough. Now I'll add a different color. Get a different color. Get, um, get some green. Hi, Judy. We did miss you. Could we not miss you? Cycles. All right, and then I will add some to this page here. We are working on mixed media mashup, Miss Judy. Okay, I do have one more little doodad I can do some cycles with. Let's see what color do I do? do light blue. I'm gonna throw a little bit of runny, very runny light blue. <laughs> Today's will be very colorful as are usually most days. You going home tomorrow? Home from where? <clears throat> All right. I'm going to 
dry this. Oh. Well, that's good that you get to go home. And that was nice of you to take care of your friend. Been a good friend for a long time. I couldn't let them down rehab. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Six thousand dollars. Good lord. Well, that was really nice of you. I'm sure he appreciated that very much. <clears throat> Is there anybody that needs a few more minutes? Let me know. in some areas. It's going to take forever to dry, so I just take some of it off on my finger and wipe it off so that it's not so thick in those areas. It doesn't take 9,000 years to dry. Yeah. Oh, what? Your friend wouldn't wouldn't appreciate it if you flung gesso and paint everywhere at his house? <laughs> well, it's not like he could have done anything about it anyway. So, I would have just done it. Just paint it all over the place. <laughs> and if he got mad, just be like, what are you going to do? Chase me? <laughs> You could have done mixed media mashup on his cast. Now that would have been interesting. All right, I'm going to let Nightbot choose the next winner or not winner but number picker that's it potential winner but number picker and yeah so hopefully he will pick a good one somebody we haven't had already so that they can pick us a good number 
Judy, Miss Judy, pick us a number between 1 and 18. Any number between 1 and 18. Oh, that's right. That's Clint. I always forget that that's Clint. <laughs> Clint, wake up. Pick a number. <laughs> Laura's going to come after your butt if you don't. <laughs> Maybe he left. He might have he might have left right and and Nightbot still thought he was here. So I'll pick somebody else. Because when's the last time? Oh, he said cool at nine twenty. Well, that was nine minutes ago. I think that was the last time he said anything. All right, I'm going to pick again. And maybe it'll come back around to to him later. Miss Michelle between 1 and nine, and uh, 18, right? Yeah, 1 and 18. Fifteen. She picks fifteen. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Whoa. Add tissue or napkin. Add tissue or napkin. Add tissue or napkin. Add tissue or napkin. I need a napkin or something. Oh, I have silver tissue. I could use that. Let's see. Silver tissue. There we go. I have silver tissue and some napkin or tissue that has um, snowflakes on it. gonna it's 
probably going to move some paint around because that paint isn't completely dry in spots, but that's all right. Who cares? And this is going to lose a lot of its luster because I'm going to put, if I put glue on top of it, it's going to get weird, but that's okay. There's that paint moving around. Shoving this on there. Shoving it on. Shove a little more on too. Lucinda, you had your colon cancer surgery on Monday. Did they were they able to re at least remove everything that they saw? And did it, you know, um, or I mean, did they have to do? They're doing the chemotherapy as a precaution, or did they have? Did, is it spread to other places? I'm sorry you had to go through that. I've been through that myself. Except I didn't. Luckily, I didn't need to have any kind of um, chemotherapy or anything, so. I definitely lucked out there. I had chemotherapy pills, but that's it.
you missed your name was called Judy to pick a um, to pick a, a, a number but it'll come back around to you I'm sure at some point we had to pick somebody else we didn't know where you was Okay, does anybody need extra time? They're just doing it for precaution. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. That's good news. Then they must have caught it early. Amy needs a few minutes. Where did she say that? Did she say that and I missed it? Oh, her computer died? She was sitting here. Oh, she's at your house? She wears a diaper. <laughs> No, or just take your phone with you to the bathroom like like a normal, respectable human being does. <laughs> yeah. I'm being a smartass. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick the next person, and they are going to pick between the numbers 1 and 17. So if your name is chosen, please pick a number between 1 and 17. Lucinda, Miss Lucinda, pick a number between 1 and 17. And you're now in the running to win a prize because I'm putting everybody's name down that picks a number. I know, right, Cece? What are you, a monster? You don't take your phone to the bathroom? What do you do, sit there and stare at the wall? <laughs> oh, God. My phone is, I don't ever use my phone. Like, I don't look at YouTube or anything on my phone very rarely. Like I said, if I'm in the bathroom, maybe. But I don't, 
I'm not one to use my phone that much, but I do take it everywhere I go. Like, I don't ever leave the house without it. It's connected to my wallet, so I can't leave the house without it. Like, literally, that's my phone case, and that's my wallet. So, I can't forget it. This way, I never forget my wallet, because it's attached to my phone, and I never forget my phone, because it's attached to my wallet. Of course. I take it in the bathroom. I don't use it to wipe myself with so it doesn't get dirty I put it you know after I you know do my business I don't touch it until I wash my hands I lay it on the table and then I, I have a table like kind of in front of my toilet I lay it there and then I do my business like you know all the cleaning process and then I go and I wash my hands and then I pick it back up so I don't ever let anything touch it that's not clean All right, Lucinda, did you pick a number? Pick a number between 1 and 17, Lucinda. Earth to Lucinda. Come in, Lucinda. She must be on some good drugs. She picked 16. Okay, she picked 16 already. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So that would be the second to the last one because I said one through 17. Right? Yeah. So let's pick, just grab the second to the last one. And it's collage. Who would have thunk it? We get to collage some more. <laughs> so collage anything you want. We gonna collage some more. Who would have thunk it? Let's see, what do I got to throw on here? We could throw some more on here. Why not? Oh, you know what I do here? Where is it? In here. I have some snowmen. And I have some trees. Wrapping paper. I can collage. I've got some trees, some gold foil trees. I could just cut out the tree parts.
This is the day of collaging, apparently. We've collaged napkin. We've collaged ephemera earlier. And now we're collaging again. One more tree. over for me anyway. It's good enough. Wrapping paper makes good collage paper. If you don't have money for like Christmas paper to buy like scrapbook Christmas paper and stuff for the for your you know crafting during Christmas, you just go to the dollar store and grab a bunch of uh, a bunch of different wrapping papers and tissue papers, and you can do a ton with that. It's a good cheap way to have some paper to for the holiday season. And also, if you get gifts, too, keep it for next year. Keep the wrapping paper for next year. I usually keep any wrapping paper that, you know, I get on a gift for the most part. Unless it's something I already have or whatever. Or if it's, like, really, really taped up and I can't get the tape off of it. But typically, I'll save as many big pieces of it as I can. Does anybody need any extra time? Your battery's gonna die. Plug in your phone, quick. <laughs> All right, then I'm gonna put the, uh, Put, have Nightbot pick the next number picker, and the next number picker will be picking between 1 and 16. 1 and 16.
1 and 16. We need a number. Oh, you already picked. We got to pick somebody else. Sorry, Lucinda. Sorry, not sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> Teresa. Teresa. Pick a number between 1 and 16. Twelve. She picks twelve. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that is the twelfth, the twelfth card. Oh no, I can't show them. Flip back over, dummy. My cards decided to flip over the other way in the box. Okay. Stencil, 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 stencil. Good pick. All right, so we're gonna throw some stencil stuff up here, designs. We're gonna stencil ourselves. Silly. Oh, it might help if I had some paint. Let me grab some paint colors to do that with. I have some metallic blue and some red. Excuse you. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Anne. And anybody else that I have not said hello to? Hello. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. stencil and kind of rub it around and it'll get into the spots. The number thing? No, it's just a all I'm doing is just have a Nightbot pick people and you're just going to give, you'll have a choice of numbers to choose from and you just choose. And if you're picked, I put your name on a paper and you'll be in a drawing to win a prize later. So that's all. So the last person picked a number between 1 and 16. The next one will pick a number between 1 and 15 and so forth until we get to um, where we're at 1 and 10 because that'll be the 10th card. I just didn't want to just put 10 cards out, so I, I just got 20 cards out. So, we will do some cycles. So, if you're chosen, you'll just pick a number between whatever 
I tell you at the time because it changes each time a little bit. Because every time we do it, one card gets taken away, so it's it goes down a number. No, you don't have to pay for those type of things here. Definitely not. 20 gooey cards. I did spill some jelly on them. Just kidding. Thanks, River. I'm not even trying. I, I was like gonna not worry about picking any kind of Christmas colors, but then it just kind of because I had to collage so much and I ended up collaging things that were more Christmassy, then I just said, ah, screw it. I guess it's gonna be sort of Christmassy. We are Christmassy again. We've been Christmassy for like four weeks now. We are in the Christmas spirit. Which I got my partner's 12 days of Christmas goodies and I could start opening them tomorrow, but I may see if she is okay with me opening them all on Christmas Eve instead, or I'm going to let her decide if she wants me to open them all, you know, over the next however many days, or if I can open them maybe on Christmas Eve, just because I'd like to, you know, since I don't have any family or anything to be with, so it would be just nice to have a few things to open on Christmas Eve, which is when I would normally open presents, unless I was a little kid, then we did it on Christmas Day, but, and her stuff got sent out yesterday, or, well, no, they were supposed to pick it up yesterday, and they didn't pick it up until today, idiots, so, that got picked up today, so she'll get it a day late, but, But Winnie and, and Willow and Tigger wanted to give presents too, so there's presents in, in her box from them. We're just adamant on giving presents to. We will do some green. Green. Let's do some green stars. Carla you see snowmen is that who is that who said that I saw Carla's name but I didn't yeah it was yeah I have there's a snowman there and snowman there that was some wrapping paper that I had to wrap um where am I going gotta do it over here I was about to put it on my paper and I was gonna be like whoa hold up hold up there <laughs> I 
Here's your partner who's a real cow. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get some cheese and milk and beef. Shell, you heard that Shazzy's partner was a was the real cow. <laughs> Did you now? <laughs> Does anybody need any more time? <laughs> you heard worse. Let me go on. I don't know where Janie is. I messaged her. I don't know. She might be sleeping. She must have stayed up or something. Um, yeah, because she didn't answer my message. So maybe she's asleep or something. Gail's trying to hog the name picking so that she could be the only one to pick and to have the name have Nightbot pick her name. <laughs> but yes, we are going to pick another name. And if it's Gail, I'm gonna pick somebody else. And you will be picking a number between 1 and 15. Oh, she already won. We have to pick somebody else. You'll be picking between 1 and 15. Jeez, Lucinda. Nightbot likes you. What's going on over there? What you doing with Nightbot? <laughs> Shell, you already were picked too. So, we got to pick somebody else. Come on, Nightbot. Get your head out of your butt. Shazzy! Shazzy hasn't been chosen yet. Shazzy 1 through 15. She picks three. Three, three. Oh, I need the whole stack. One, two, and three. What have you got us into, Miss Shazzy? Aha. Add some script writing. At least it's not collaging. Okay, add some script writing. Let's see. Let's get a paint pen or something. Paint pen, please. You are the chosen one. 
So by script writing, you can just write, you can actually write something or you can just scribble. So like, I'll write Mary. Christmas. With that color, you probably can't even really see it. I could see it pretty well, but I have this color here, which I don't think I've used it yet. Oh, I can't open it. Yeah, it did not. This one's like a dark, kind of a cranberry red color. Hurry up, you're taking too long. You haven't got all day for these shenanigans. There we go. Now I'm gonna write, let's see. Santa? is coming to town. <laughs> he is, sort of. What else can you write? Let's see. I've got a dark blue one. over here maybe maybe I'll do that in green too cure for hiccups is to make is to shock your diaphragm by making a really horrible noise from the pit of your stomach and hold it as long as you can that's what helps me it'll it'll shock the hiccups out of you that's what helps me 
I go, hmm, and I make like a really, really grunty noise and I hold it for as long as I can and don't take a breath. And then when I do take a breath, I take a quick breath and do it again. Just don't pass out. It works. It works for me every time. I get really bad hiccups like almost every day and sometimes the last hours. All right, does anybody need me to wait? There isn't a cure for hiccups, but there are things that do work. <laughs> Rub your tummy and pat your head. <laughs> hiccups are just a spasm of your diaphragm. You don't have to stand upside down to drink the glass of water. That one I thought worked, but it really doesn't, but you can just turn your head up. You, t you could take the sip of water and then turn your head upside down and swallow it with your head upside down. Same difference. But try shocking your diaphragm by giving out long, low notes just grunt like a long time feel it in your stomach and that and then you'll know it's coming from your diaphragm the easiest way to the easiest way to make your diaphragm vibrate is with a lower note so if you do a lower note it'll and if you know make sure you're pushing from your stomach Yeah, basically grunt like a Sasquatch for a long time. Uh-huh. That'll work. But you don't, you have to do it and really like hold it. It kind of re-shocks your diaphragm so that the hiccups don't really, because hiccups typically are on a rhythm. You can almost time, a, you know, time like, you know, like almost time them on a watch because they'll come in like a rhythm. And that's because your diaphragm is spasming. But if you can do low notes and like vibrate and shock your diaphragm a bit, it'll kind of break up that pattern. And if you break it up enough and for long enough, the hiccups will stop because they can't, they don't have any, you know, they, they, they lose their rhythm and they just stop. It doesn't always work, but it works for me about 90% of the time. And I believe me, I've had to, I'd ha I've had to do everything to figure out a way to get rid of the hiccups because I get them and they're violent when I get hiccups. They're like, <gasps> and they're really loud and they hurt me. And so imagine doing that for 30, 40 minutes at a time the pain is like ridiculous and if i'm out in public it's the worst because there's nothing i could do at that point because it's not like i'm going to make that friggin noise in the middle of a store so i and i can't help but for to make an awful noise every time i hiccup so it's like you know half a dozen of one you know 12 of the other because either way either the noise I'm going to have to make to get rid of the hiccups is ridiculous and embarrassing or the hiccups themselves are loud and embarrassing and ridiculous I don't know if I don't think they're like yawning but 
You can feel them coming on. I can feel them. That's, that's kind of true because I can feel them coming on too. And I kind of know when it might happen. Sometimes I'll only get one or two hiccups and I'm like so thankful it doesn't kick. Like it's almost like, all right, so it's like your heart kind of. This is how I, it reminds me because believe me, I've had to deal with chronic hic hiccups my whole life. It's kind of like your heart. And I, it's not the greatest analogy because I'm not trying to say that you're, you know, you know, I'm not, you know, heart stops beating, obviously you're going to die, but it's different. Um, but it's kind of like that, you know, you know how they can like keep you alive by keeping your heart beating in the same rhythm and your heart has a rhythm. It's kind of like that in a sense, you have to cut, but if you stop the rhythm of the heart for long enough, it's not going to just start back up again by itself without a shock. So it's kind of like that with the hiccups, except you want to get rid of this, this rhythm. So you got to, you know, kind of find a way to stop your, your diaphragm from spasming. And that's literally the only way I've ever found to stop it because my hiccups used to be so bad when I was like, I would get them at least once a day. I don't get them once a day anymore, but I get them, I get them at least once a week really bad. Um, and it's usually when I'm not even thinking about it and it'll just happen. Um, and it's, it's so annoying. If I've had, like, if I have one or two, you know, and it stops, great. But if I, if I have more than like four, I know it's going to be an episode and, and it's just going to, it's just going to keep going for like, you know, anywhere from five minutes to, you know, up to an hour. And it's a pain in the ass. So I had to figure out ways. I tried the upside down drinking. I've tried everything. And that stuff's all a bunch of BS because drinking water doesn't do anything. Because once you, unless you drink the water, you know, it, like once you swallow, it might cut off the rhythm for that time that you swallow. But once, you know what I mean? It's not long enough to stop the, let's say heart. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? You need something that's going to make it kind of stop. That's why anything you can do to like, and the only thing I found that's possible, humanly possible to stop that rhythm is to make a really low noise that kind of comes from your diaphragm, I guess. And it basically makes your diaphragm forget what it was doing long enough to stop the hiccups. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pick the next person. Swallow air and burp. Hmm. Yeah, that could, I mean, that could shock your diaphragm. But, it, you know, I mean, if you think about it, it could because if you're swallowing or you're burping, you're not going to have hiccups because your diaphragm can't do that at the same time, you know, as swallowing or burping. So, but in the burping, that usually burping, when you're forcing yourself to burp, that comes from your diaphragm. So you're pushing from your diaphragm to get you to burp. So it's still shocking it. All right, let's see who is going to pick between 1 and 14. 1 and 14. Still nobody's picked my favorite number yet. Laura! It's Laura! Laura Vasquez! What is your number between 1 and... What was it, 14? 1 and 14. fart and laugh. <laughs> yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just don't, I don't know. If, I've tried the drinking of the water thing. I've tried guzzling water and everything, but I don't know if it reaches deep enough to really shock it for long enough. I don't know. Number one, she picks number one. Number one. 
I'm going to have to start writing down what number we were choosing from. All right, so that means we're picking the first card. Use household stamps. Use household stamps. stamp materials get our trusty bubble wrap actually we use some big bubble wrap and our little flimmy flammy checkered squares what else we got in here I got this thing too which leaves some interesting marks this thing and can make little squares with this little foam thing. All right, I need some paint colors. Paint colors. like a teal color and then I've got my metallics from Arteza that I can use as well. I've got silver. And what's this? White. some yellow first. I'm gonna throw some yellow. Throw some yellow and do some bubble wrap. Big bubble wrap with the yellow. Probably why like different things work for different people because obviously everybody's diaphragm is going to be a little different and how you shock it <laughs> you know is different for each person what works for me might not work for everybody to shock their diaphragm maybe you can shock it by saying you know you're really looking fat these days diaphragm and maybe the diaphragm will go what and be shocked enough to stop hiccuping. <laughs> That's if you have a very dramatic diaphragm. <laughs> Hi, Linda. See, that's what I mean. Like, everybody has all these, like, old wives' tale remedies. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't think what you eat really matters as much as just trying to, you know, do some sort of swallowing exercise or something to stop it. There's so many things that people have come up with over the years. <laughs> That's funny with Faye. 
what it was vinegar. Ugh. Yeah, that probably would stop it, stop the, the hiccups because it's so disgusting that you'd concentrate more on the fact that it was gross <laughs> than you would on the hiccups. And your diaphragm would probably be mad. <laughs> Don't give me that. Don't give me that stuff. No, your hiccups have to do with your diaphragm. At least that's what I was told by my doctor. Who knows? I sure feel like they're coming from my diaphragm. Maybe they come from our butt. The only way to get rid of them is to go poop it out. <laughs> go poop out your hiccups. Mine's becoming a nice hot mess. Mine looks like a hot ass mess right now. That's all right. I was going for a hot mess. That's why it looks like a hot mess. That was my that was my inspiration the entire time. Mm-hmm. Didn't you know it? bad when your when your runoff paper looks better than your actual project Hey, if it works, it works, right? It's probably because the taste is shocking the hell out of your diaphragm enough. Shocking you enough to sh that shocks your diaphragm enough. And it's keeping you occupied as well because you're concentrating on not only pouring the sugar, but pouring the pouring the vinegar and all that and then swallowing it. So you're, you're breaking your concentration enough to forget about the hiccups long enough to make them stop whatever works just get rid of them I can't stand it when I have them for a long time it sucks I actually end up with a stomach ache after they're over and I feel like physically sore in my stomach when I've had them for a long period of time
<laughs> Praying you don't fart when you hiccup. <laughs> That's funny. to reschedule a doctor's or a dentist appointment one time because of the hiccups i was they started when i was in the waiting room you know just waiting to go back and i knew they were going to be a bat it was just getting worse and worse so i had to you know even the nurse i said you know if some she goes to you know i told her i get them a lot and they can last a long time and, she, and i she had me sit there for a while even you know and, and pulled somebody else back because i was supposed to have either a root canal or something done. I don't remember. And obviously they couldn't do that while I was hiccuping. And so they had me wait. And I think like, I don't know, 30 minutes went by and they were still there. So I ended up just rescheduling. I was like, you know what? Let me just reschedule because I don't feel like sitting here when I have the hiccup. It's embarrassing to sit there and just be really loud and obnoxious because <laughs> I can't help it. I'd rather be alone. You know. Bye, Lucinda. Her drugs are kicking in. Have a good time on your drugs. <laughs> All right. Does anybody need me to wait, or can I pick the next wiener to pick the next uh, number? The person that'll pick the next number. Glue on my nails. Glue on my nails. Disgusting. Girl, or Gail is an early, early to bed person. She likes to go to bed early. I don't, I can't relate. Well, go ahead. You can pick, you, you can pick, Clint, since we had to skip you. We'll put you down. You pick a number between 1 and 13. Go ahead. I thought by now it would have already picked you again, but it didn't, so go ahead. She pick, he picks 12. 12. Oh, we already... No, it doesn't matter. We already had 12. I forgot. It don't matter. Let's see. So 1 through 13, so that'll be the second to the last. Mm. 
Add die cuts or punches. More collaging. All right. What oh, we'll use this? Why not? And we will punch out some stars. stars too. See if they'll fit. Sort of. Not, not, not exactly, but they'll... I have circles I can use for those. I'll start with these. no front because it's been going picking throughout the deck what do you mean in the front because everything's mixed in people have been using all kinds of different numbers so I don't know it's just the way the cookie crumbles I guess Things. Gracious, why is this making so much damn noise? Has it got a problem? Yeah, the problem is it doesn't like to be used.
Some red doodads. Stars. There. I have a hard time getting this punch to get in there. Bye, Shell. Have a good night or day for you, I think. You're not cleaning up that mess tonight? Well then, young lady, you don't get dessert. If you don't clean up your mess, you don't get dessert. I need some more stars.
cheesecake. Cheesecake is for dessert. Or brownies. Or cheese danish, really. Like that. I'll tell your stomach to stop listening in on my conversations. <laughs> that down very well did I no not quite does anybody need more time for their punches or their die cuts or can I pick the next person to pick a number pick the next number picker All right, the next person to choose a number will be you already see you did get your name pulled after all. <laughs> Next. Gail. Miss Gail, you have to pick a number. One through twelve. She picks seven. Seven, seven, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Use blue. Use blue. Use it and abuse it. Number nine is use blue. Use blue. Let's see. I think I'm going to splatter with some blue. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going 
going to make some splatters with blue. Good night, Gail. Well, you can't leave in the middle of your card. <laughs> How rude. She's going to watch from her bed. I wish I could play mixed media mashup from my bed without making a mess. That would be that would be nice. I should turn my craft room into a I should like get a recliner or a bed and put it pull it up to my desk. And then when I'm done at night, I could just you know, just pull my covers over me and go to sleep. And then all the dogs can leave me alone and they don't have to sleep up my butt every night. I can be like, ha ha ha, you stay out there, you're not worthy. Because they're not allowed back here except Tigger. Tigger, he's allowed back here. Well, I just got blue paint everywhere. Excuse you. Nobody asked you. Get out of the way, fool. I got some blue paint there. Let's see, do I have a lighter blue paint? And we can do two colors. Ooh, I have a darker one and a lighter one. This is like a whoa. Hey. Hey now. Hey now. Well, this is a lighter, what do you call it? Shimmer. And this is a darker one that's not a shimmer. Fancy chassis? What? Fancy chassis? What are you looking at my chassis for? My chassis is private. Is that what you spelled? I don't know if that is what you were trying to say, but it's the closest thing I can think of. Fancy couches you see in a French boudoir. Oh, a chaise. Oh, I got you, got you, got you. I thought you were talking about a chassis, and I was like, what's, what does that have to do with... I was very confused. I got you, a chaise lounge. Yeah, I, I had one, actually. I have one in my living room, but I also had, like, a black one that had, like, a faint, kind of, like, tone-on-tone -tone leopard print. I get, ended up giving that to Chris, because he liked it. And it was very uncomfortable, extremely uncomfortable. And so I was like, good, you can have it. <sighs> Cause it was like the worst you sit on it and you know, like it looked like it was gonna be nice and cushy by the way it looked but when you would sit on it, it you would like sink to the point of like you were sitting on it felt like you were sitting on the ground it was terrible so but I have a one that goes with my couch in the living room all right we got some 
Got some good splats all over the room. That's how I'm using blue. I kind of overused it. <laughs> but hey. What are you going to do? And if you weren't here earlier, I was saying how on tomorrow I'm going to be doing a live stream with Aaron and, or, uh, no, uh, Kelly and Robin, my brain just like went blank, Kelly and Robin, and they're going to, um, tomorrow night at, I think six my time, I think it is going to be, um, which will be seven their time, something like that. And we're going to do the, um, the light switch cover with the big hole in it, the rocker switches, uh, light switch cover ornaments. They're going to show me how to do them, which will be a lot of fun. So it'll be like a class kind of. So if you're around tomorrow, you should come check it out. Welcome back, Aunt Erin. Can you be my aunt since everybody's your aunt? Erin's going to be my aunt. My Aunt Erin. <laughs> All right. We are going to pick the next winner. Well, the next number picker. Not really a winner, but number picker. <laughs> oh, that's fun. That'll be fun, Erica. All right, let's see who's picking one through 11. CC CC's picking one a number between 1 and 11. I lost my pen. So we'll get another pen. One through 11. You're picking 11? Okie dokie. She wants the one at the back. Whoa, not that one. My card fell down. She wants making marks with a crinkled paper. That is what she chose. And you guys are going to choose the optional ones too. So this one, if you have never seen, is just grab a piece of copy paper, crinkle it into a ball. Not a super tight ball, but you know, like, like a wad like that. And find a spot that's very interesting, you know. And then you're going to put some paint. And then you're going to dip it in and you're going to stamp with it. And it'll make in interesting patterns. Um, since I lost most of this color, we'll use this. Just spread your paint out a little bit so it doesn't get all thick on your 
paper. And then find the most interesting spot. You can crunch it around to make it more interesting. And what you'll get is like, you know, just a random, this paint, this paint is a bad idea. This paint is too gloppy. I forgot about that, but that's all right. We're gonna work with it. But you'll get some interesting pattern on your paper. to stamp when you haven't got stamps. There we go. Now I can add some on here. Even though I took some color or some bits off of it already. I'll still use up the rest of the paint. paint on our names but that's not going to affect anything. I can still read them. That's all that matters. Okay, get back here. Oh, good. Erin said she'll be my aunt. Oh, good. Aunts give the best presents for Christmas. What are you getting me for Christmas? so thick it's going to take forever to dry. Yeah, do what Carla says because she's in charge. She's in charge of getting everybody to follow the rules and give a thumbs up. <laughs> she, she's going to be like the warden. Warden Carla. Well, it looks interesting. So I'm going to pick um, three more people to be in the, actually I'll give you guys a minute because I'm going to run to the potty real quick and then we'll do that. I'll be right back.
Okay. I am back. So, um, we need somebody to pick the next uh, person that I pick is going to choose between one and ten. You got pick from one to ten. Huh? What? How's that possible? Okay, well, I'll choose then. No, I'd rather somebody else does because then they can be in the drawing. I'm not going to be in the drawing. That's weird. It doesn't ever do that. And now it's done that because I've been pu putting this in the chat. So it's it's logging me as a chatter now. But no, I don't want to do it because I want somebody else to be in the drawing. I'm not going to obviously put myself in the drawing. Stop it now. Stop flirting with me. We are through, Nightbot. He's trying to flirt with me. You know, she already won. Or was choosing. You know what I mean. She was already one of the chosen ones. Let's see if we can get somebody else to be a chosen one. Erica. We did not have Erica. Miss Erica. Choose a number between 1 and 10, please. She chooses four. All right, so the first optional card is one, two, three, fourth card. Okay, and then one through nine, we're gonna have somebody else is gonna choose. These are for the optional cards. Nope, she already chose. Come on, Nightbot. Be original. Erin. Erin, you get to pick between one and nine. Pick a number between one and nine. One and nine. You're a little, you're a couple numbers too high. One through nine. One through nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Those are the only numbers, not, not above that. You got it. She chooses number one. So we'll put that there for her. And then the next person is going to choose numbers one through eight. Carla. Miss Carla. You choose one through eight. She chooses seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, you know nobody chose my favorite number all night? That's interesting. I thought for sure somebody would. So, Miss Erica chose number four, which was um, paint and ink sprays. These are optional cards. Miss Erin chose apply paint with a credit card. And Miss Carla chose add sparkle. So I'm going to put those into the thingamajig. Hi, Millie. So they are all up in the ticker. 
picking away. Tick, tick, ticking away. I want to add some red sparkle to mine. I'm going to add some, a little bit of red sparkle. A little or a lot, you know. That brush is not good. I need a thicker. Did I mail prizes? I've been mailing prizes. I haven't gotten everybody's out yet. I'm going down a list. I'm working on it still. There's a lot, so it takes me a while. I'm still working on it. I'm hoping to get everything done before the end of the year, but I can't. I can't guarantee it, but I'm damn well hoping I can because I've been mailing things like a crazy person, but I also have to I also have to put the priority on people that order stuff. That has to go out first. So that usually takes up a lot of time. And I also have to financially be able to afford to keep mailing prizes out all the time. So I that's why it takes a little longer. Working on it. Be patient with me. Once I'm caught up, it'll be better, but it just takes, you know, it's a lot to get caught up on when you have very limited time to work on it. What do you mean how many months? I don't know. I'm I'm very bar far behind. I know that, especially on mixed media mashup stuff. But like I said, I'm working on it as fast as I can, and as much as I can. Because don't forget, I have to financially be able to send everything. And if I tried to send out 75 packages, I'd be out, you know, a lot of money. That I gotta be careful, you know. It's freebie. It's stuff you're getting for free. So be patient with me. You need your elf. What are you talking about, your elf? What elf? Elf, why am I not? I don't know what, you, what, you, what elf was it. I don't know. I have a whole box of stuff in the other room literally, a box of stuff that I go through. Like every couple days, I sit and go through and send out things. Okay, well, that's how far behind I am. <laughs> Probably further. I mean, is it really worth, you know, I told you what I, what the deal is and that's all I can do. It's not like I'm not, it's not like I'm doing it on purpose. I mean, for the, for the love of God, it's not like I'm sitting here going, and I'm just not going to send anything. I send stuff constantly. The problem is I'm doing my best to get caught up because I'm trying to send a lot of things and do a lot of things and, you know, do the best I can. I'm a human being. I can't do everything. So if you're getting... I do. It's not that, Millie. It's just it takes time. That's all. I have to do it in small doses. Anybody would. I, I give out things not just once a week, but I'm giving things out all the time. I'm constantly doing stuff and giving stuff out and doing little contests and giveaways. And I love doing that. But I always ask people to just be patient because I don't always have the time to get everything put together and sent out at the same time as work, do my live streams, 
you know, do and this, that, and the other that I've got going on. So all I ask is that you be, well, yeah, remind me, but you don't have to, you know, you can just message me. That's good too. <laughs> but I mean, you've said it like four times. Well, it's been a hundred weeks. How long is it? How many months is it going to take? It's just, it is what it is. I'm doing the best I can. I promise. I'm not angry. I just don't, you know, if I tell you the answer, that's the answer. <laughs> I, you know, I get it. I feel bad enough as it is that it takes me forever to get things out. Do you think I want it to pay, take me that long? I don't. I really don't. I want everybody to get their things in a timely manner, but unfortunately, I got backed up. Life happened. Well, I don't want to not mail you something. Of course I'm going to mail you something. I mail everybody something that got something. And yes, I ask people to remind me in a, you know, just send me a Facebook message and ask me, hey, you know, just a reminder. But I mean, really, I've been going through the list and the list is now, you know, two, two pages back to front. And this is the most recent stuff. That's not even the stuff that's from before I started making the list that I'm still working on. Right, you've sent me messages, and if I didn't see it, it's because I have messages, too, that are piling up. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm one person doing the job of about six people. I'm doing the best I can. If I don't if I don't get to a message and, and I don't answer you, I always say, just message me again. But when it comes to giveaway stuff, just give me a break. You will get it, I promise. I have not not ever given somebody a message, their, their thing. It takes me a while sometimes because it takes me a while to get caught up. I work every day, probably 12 hours a day. 12 hours a day, and I'm not even supposed to be doing that with my health issues. But I do anyway, because I'm trying to survive. So I just ask that you be patient, because I know you've sent messages, and you've come into my chat several times, and you've sent me messages. I get it. It's just a stupid giveaway. I, trust me, I will get it to you. But, I mean, everybody just needs to give me a break and not, you know, get on about it. You can ask about it, but don't keep going on about it as if, well, you know, I haven't gotten it. It's a giveaway. You know, you'll get it. I promise. I've never not given somebody their giveaway. I've been late, but they've always gotten it. Even if they get it a year later, they're going to get it. I'm doing the best I can. I promise. I'm not trying to be bitchy, but you got to understand where I'm coming from. I mean... I get people that'll ask me on a daily basis if I sent out, you know, their giveaway. And it's like frustrating because I'm doing the best I can. And I say that almost every time I do a giveaway, just be patient with me because it takes a while and I'm trying to get caught up at the same time. Anyway, let me get the papers for last week's stuff. I'm gonna dry my sparkle.
All right, let me get a piece of paper. Oh, wait, let me do this one first. I'll just stop doing giveaways altogether, and then that'll solve the problem right there. I think that's what's going to happen. I think I'm just going to stop doing giveaways after this because there's no point. Because I, no matter what I do, it seems like people aren't satisfied. I do a giveaway, people want the giveaways. And then when it takes a long time, there's people that will go out of their way to bitch about it constantly. So, you know, I'm just going to stop doing them. So consider this the last mixed media mashup I do with giveaways. Giveaways are done. Because there's no point. Alright, I'm putting these in a bowl first. I'll do them. I took the mixed media mashup ones out and put them on the paper over here while I do these first real quick. Well, I mean, it's not just your, it's not just you, it's other people too. But besides that, it's like, you know, people will go out of their way to, you know, not understand that I'm doing the best I can and you know these same people don't even talk to me or come to my live streams anymore and the only time they come is to ask me if, if I have their giveaway and it's like okay you know I'm, do, I, I, I'm doing the best I can I really am if you have any idea if I could if I could put a camera on me for one 24-hour period you all would shit at how much I do really you would shit, literally. You'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Because I'm literally working 12 hours a day and I don't sit. I mean, anybody that gets on the phone with me has to deal with the fact that I'm constantly doing something and making noise in the background, packing boxes, moving stuff, fixing stuff, this, that, and the other, whatever. Like the amount of crap that I do. And I'm happy to do it. I ain't complaining about that. But it does take away from a lot of things and it makes it harder for me to do a lot of things. Okay. Okay. JD. <laughs> Carla, you won, Miss Carla. Miss Carla won. Miss Carla, you won. I don't even remember what I had set aside for this giveaway now. I know I have the kit for the other one. Oh, the ornament. I have that ornament. Let me get it. Tape your thing to it. I got this cute little ornament. It's a keepsake ornament. And it's got, it's a sled with little mice and it's got a Hershey's bar. It's from Hershey's and Hallmark, I guess, worked together and made this cute little mouse ornament. It doesn't have a thinger, um, an ornament hook, but you could probably just use a, a an ornament hook that you have maybe laying around or you could probably just hang it from that but it does have a little ring on here for an ornament hook or you could probably just hang it from the string that's pulling the sled and these little strings are the mouse's tails I just thought it was really cute and since I'm not putting a tree up this year and I don't typically use this kind of ornaments I figured somebody else would think it was cute so I'll tape your name to it other room in the box <laughs> all right this is from last week I'm gonna go through and get all the names from last week well there you go you can give it to your mom Okay, um, 
All right, I'm gonna jot down these names. Don't forget to put your picture in the group with the hashtag or MMM hashtag 132 in, in the Pink Poodle Pack group. I'm gonna be looking for 131 from last week. Okay, I have everyone on there. All right, this is from last week. And Miss Jeanette, you win, Miss Jeanette. Miss Jeanette wins. Okay, put Miss Jeanette down. for this week. We'll go through and get everybody's name. Okay. Alrighty, let's see who we got. Miss Amy. Miss Amy did very nice with her blue and red and snowflakes. Very pretty, Miss Amy. 
How do I get my paper? Oh, I'm use this piece. Very nice. Very Christmassy or wintery, really. Very pretty. Oh, Miss Asia's is very pretty. I like your trees. Oh, those are cool. Are they die cuts? Those are neat. I like those. Very cool, Miss Asia. And Miss JD's very pretty. I like the colors, the blues and the reds. Very pretty. And Miss Bettina. Oh, very pretty, Miss Bettina. Oh, very pretty. I like all the colors. It's really nice. And Miss Laura, very pretty. Miss Laura, I like the orange. And that cranberry color is really pretty. Oh, and that's a pretty die cut. I like that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I like orange with teal. Always looks nice together. And Miss Amy, very cool, Miss Amy. Oh, that's cool. That looks really good. I like that a lot. Good job, Miss Amy. Miss Joy, very pretty, Miss Joy. I like all the colors, and you've got holly berry and Christmas. Ooh, blue Christmas trees. Is that a die cut or a punch? It's really pretty. And then we've got Miss Teresa. That's not, she didn't do, no, okay. I was going to say, I seen that background yesterday. <laughs> Miss Marion. Oh, this is Dave's. Oh, okay. This is Marion's friend, Dave. Oh, that's really cool. I like the owls and the frog and all that stuff. Oh, cool. Dave, you did a really good job. I'll just put down Dave. <laughs> Very good, Dave. Awesome job. And Miss Marion, oh, yours is very pretty. I love yours, Marion. I like this. Is that that looks like a really cool looking napkin or piece of tissue or something? Very cool. Very cool. And Miss Bima, yours looks like yours looks like a um. Uh, what was I gonna say? Like a candy? Uh, the candy peppermint candy with the white and the red the swirly ones what are they called twirls i don't know that's what it kind of looks like reminds me of it looks like if i licked it it would be minty <laughs> that's really cool looking very christmasy and miss rebecca oh yours is pretty miss rebecca i like the colors very pretty Hello? What the hell are you doing? Give me the heart. Okay. Okay. And let's see. Let me refresh and go to the top. We got Miss Patina. We got Miss Chris. No, we don't have Miss Christine. Oh, very pretty. Oh, I have that paper. I know I do. It's it. I have it in a, is it a six by six paper? I don't know, but I have that swirly with the different colors. It's a Christmas paper, right? I don't know. I think mine is. Yeah, it definitely is. I don't know if yours is. It looks the same, but it might not be, but I like all that color you did. 
with the blue and the green and stuff with the touches of red that's really pretty very pretty everybody did such a good job very cool not get and Laura I'm assuming yours is an email um, okay let's go back up and refresh Okay, so that's it for now. I will go, whoa, stop it. I will come back to that in a second. Is there anybody that hasn't gotten theirs up yet? I'm gonna check my email real quick. See if Miss Laura has sent hers in email. I didn't see whether she said she was doing it. I'm assuming she was. Maybe not. Oh, maybe I did. maybe not. Did you not do it, Miss Laura? Oh, you didn't play tonight. Okay. I did miss yours. I did. No, I have yours right here, JD Anderson. I didn't miss yours. You missed it. <laughs> you missed me showing it. You missed me not missing it. <laughs> That's what I thought. She was probably sleeping. <laughs> yes, I'd like to see a picture of the cover of your journal. <laughs> Even if it, you know, I, I'm, it's, I'm assuming it's not mixed media mashup. It's just your journal, but I'd like to see a cover of it anyway. You can always send me your stuff because I love when you, I, I love seeing your stuff, Laura, because I know you don't come in, you're not in the group on Facebook um, or not on Facebook, period. So I like seeing your stuff in email. And Shazzy says she would too. So you can send it to me now and I'll show it to everybody if you want. So is there anybody that I missed? What's not showing up on your screen, JD? Well, I have your name down right here, J.D. Anderson. Did I forget to put a heart by it? Is that what you mean? Hi, Janie. Sleepyhead. No, I commented on it because it was blue and, and, and red, and I liked how you made it look Christmassy, but it, I, I like the colors. I said that. You just weren't paying attention, were you? Nope, you weren't. See? Right here. And there's the heart. Right there. So, I did see it. Oh, she called it exploding reindeer. <laughs> Poor reindeer. So I'm assuming I have everybody then.
almost cut my finger off. <laughs> that would have been nice. You went to bed three days in a row early? Wow. Have you been not feeling good or something? I really cut things crooked, didn't I? Kind of, sort of. All right. Last chance. Nobody else. I didn't miss anybody. And this is for the ornament kit. got the win but I gotta make sure they can win but they haven't won in the last three months and this person has <laughs> they won literally just two times ago all right let's pick another one Okay, this person is good to go. Miss L's bit, you win. Woohoo, Miss L's, you won. You won, you won. You get the crystal ornament kit. Congrats, Miss Ells. Yeah, it was you, Rebecca, that I pulled the first time. <laughs> you did one two times ago, yep. <laughs> You caught on to that, didn't you? Hi, Hags Hollow. <laughs> well, all right, everyone. Thanks for playing along today. And if you weren't able to play along, but you want to play for still play along for next week you can still do that yes did i miss something miss shazzy oh you sent the picture of your journal oh let's see let's see i almost forgot oh there it is <gasps> Ooh, fancy look how fancy that is holy moly oh i love that that's beautiful. Did you make that or is that from a piece of jewelry or like, in other words, did you paint that or did you, did it come like that? That brooch, I guess. That's really pretty. Who are you making that for as a Christmas present?
Well, thanks for arting with me, Miss Cece. Oh, it's Dave's 75th birthday this month. Happy birthday, Dave. Should I, can I sing him happy birthday? Let's sing Dave happy birthday. Help me sing Dave happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dave. You don't look a day over 50. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dave. Thanks for playing along with me, Dave. That was awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys have a good night and uh, thanks for playing along. Have a good night, everybody. Poodle pack out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.